Hey guys, it's Darren with East Woodland Survival. Thanks for tuning in today. Got another little product review for you. A friend of mine bought me this. Uh, it's a Camelus First Aid Three Day Survival Kit. They said they got it at Walmart and they thought about me and they picked it up. Said they paid 35 bucks for it. I haven't opened it yet. I figured we'd do that, uh, you know, on camera and everything. And I thought I'd give a little product review to actually see if this is worth it or not. Uh, 35 bucks for that small of a kit, you know, is uh, probably not going to have a lot in it uh, for survival. But you never know. We'll try it out. We'll open it up. So stay with me. Right, the bag is actually kind of nice. Uh, it's got uh, plenty of pockets on the sides. Everything. It comes. Uh, wired together. I guess that's the way nobody can get in there and see what's in it or take something out. It's got like a little clip on it right there. Just a, one of those little zip ties that kind of holds it together. But uh, you can see three day first aid kit, survival kit. Uh, it's got emergency food and water. So uh, kit's about uh, 12 inches by about 6 inches. And uh Thickness is a, probably about four inches or so, maybe five, the thickest point. So it's kind of a small bag. I do like that it has all these Molly straps on it, where you could actually strap it to, a, you know, a vest or something like that, where you could actually Molly other things to it, canteen or something. It's got plenty of those. It's got uh, two exterior pockets on both sides. Sounds like they got something in them. I don't know. We'll open them up and find out. So uh, let me get the camera angled here and we'll start opening this thing up and see what's in it. All right, so let's go ahead and check these end pockets. Um, just some stuffing, I guess. Hold the pockets out. Yep, nothing. Pockets are good and deep though for adding some stuff to it. It's kind of nice. <clears throat> kind of disappointed it didn't have anything in it though. And it's got this big central pocket. Probably hard to see since it's black, but you can see it's got a it's got like a little pocket there, and it's got some little divider pockets. Be great for uh, small items. Probably a Fresnel lens or something like that. Be perfect for that. Uh, a little card sharpener. It's got a couple of little side pockets here. It'd be great for a flashlight. Something to put down in there. So let's uh, open the pack itself. And see what's in it. And I got a light stick. Never really uh, gave a lot of stock in those things. A couple of hand warmers. Purified drinking water. I think it says it has six, according to this, is six pouches of that. Um, yep, six four ounce packets. <laughs> it's not going to be much for a three day, 72 hour kit, unless you're really desperate for water. Uh, it's got a little Ziploc bag. It's just full of ibuprofen and just small things. It does have a whistle. Uh, not much else though. Just standard first aid stuff. A little first aid sheet. Some more drinking water. A really cheap LED top flashlight it looks like. Actually I think that's a halogen actually. Cheap emergency poncho. You know how if you ever use one of those, those don't last very long. Survival rescue blanket, 84 by 52. These actually work pretty good, but uh, you pretty much have to have another shelter uh, to use them. These work better as a reflector than they do as a blanket. So some more drinking water. Some more drinking water. Got the carrying strap inside of it. And some SOS emergency food rations. These aren't horrible. 
Uh, I've ate these before. It only has one of these in there. And this is a 410 calories per cookie and it has six cookies in it. Let's see what else we got in here. Two loose Panasonic batteries. And that is it. It's got a little mesh compartment inside. I guess for holding some stuff. Down the bag it has like a little mesh little compartment there and that's that looks like it. The bag is actually really nice. Make a really good little kit. Uh, I'm, so far I'm not really pleased with the contents. Uh, I don't really think that's worth 35 bucks. The bag is probably worth you know 15 bucks but these I think usually sell for about five bucks. <coughs> These, I think, are about 30, 40 cents a piece. And that flashlight, I don't know how much stock I would actually put in that as a uh, survival flashlight. Uh, so far, guys, I'm not super impressed with this thing. So uh, I don't see a cutting tool. I don't really see a container of any kind. You know, uh, I don't really see any fire starting. <laughs> at all in this and according to the list I don't think it has any fire starting stuff at all and it doesn't so uh, that's not very good for a survival type kit so let's see what we can do to actually make this kit a little better um, kind of leaving all the stuff here some of this stuff you know these, the problem with these in a kit, um, I found that a lot of times if you put them in, if these things get squished or anything like that, it could actually break these. And then when you actually need it, uh, it's already been broken and been, you know, going off inside its package and they're no good. These hand warmers, uh, they usually have a date on them, like a manufacturing date. And this one right here on the package I think yeah, this one don't have one just has like a production date on it doesn't have an expiration date so uh, it's usually I don't know a year or so before these things stop working to their maximum efficiency or so oh man that thing is so thin I don't know if I'd use it as a poncho for very long um, it probably worked better as a signaling device you know this bright orange it would probably work better than a poncho or to line the inside of a shelter to kind of help keep it waterproof um, all this stuff is just uh, some band-aids I see a scalpel in there some acetaminophen and antibiotic ointment a little bit of tape, a tourniquet, Those tourniquet bands. Those are actually come in use in survival. Use them for ties and slingshot bands, all kinds of good stuff. Uh, that whistle, I don't know if I'd really want that whistle. I guess it's better than nothing. You guys, I'm gonna put this kit kind of back together a little bit really quick. And uh, we're going to see what we can add to this kit to make it a little bit better. Okay, I got everything stuffed back inside the kit. Except for its little carrying strap, which I'm actually going to put on the thing. And it's got two little D-rings out the side that this just kind of clips into. Got to make you a man purse out of it. But, uh... I'm actually going to put this little uh, thing back inside the kit. So let's see what we can add to this kit to actually make this a three-day kit and try to be as cheap as we possibly can uh, going with this. One of the first things uh, I would add to this kit is uh, just a knife of some kind. I'm going to put a mora. And this one is a more robust. You don't have to have, have the robust. I think they're about 16 bucks. This Mora is just a cheaper version. Uh, 
This is just our little carbon steel uh, entry level knife. Um, I think these are about seven bucks or eight bucks or something. Really cheap. We're going to add a mora to it. So let's see if we can actually fit a mora into the bag. And it's a little long actually. I bet the shorter one would fit. Uh, yeah, it probably would. I need to get the sheath for that. So let's just say we're going to add a mora. I'm going to add a small roll of uh, Gorilla Tape. Gorilla Tape, good stuff. Don't buy that cheapy junk for a kit. Uh, if you're going to use tape, use some real stuff. This is the Gorilla Small Roll. Get it at Walmart. I think it's about three bucks for a roll. I'm going to add a ferro rod. Uh, to this and this ferro rod does have some mini infernos inserted in the end there's three of them so now we got surefire and we've got a, uh, a way to start a fire I'm also going to add to my little kit just a cigarette lighter and I've got some duct tape wrapped around the cigarette lighter uh, the duct tape in this case is orange it is the cheaper stuff but the orange can be used for flagging for all kinds of different things besides uh, that Plus, you can also use the duct tape to start a fire. Just light the tape on fire and uh, gives you a little bit of an extender. So we're going to add that in. Let's see. Put the duct tape in our end pocket here. Go ahead and put our lighter in there. Maybe our ferro rod. If it'll fit. Yep, it'll fit. Another thing I want to add to this is some uh, paracord. It's just some uh, seven strand military grade paracord. I'm going to go ahead and add a. Uh, this is a uh, kind of like a micro inferno. Some homemade stuff. I'm going to also add a container. Now I've got this little cup that one of my best friends got me for Christmas one year. It's just a small, like, little metal container. A soup can would work perfect for this uh, just an old soup can I don't have one you know this size right now I generally keep all my soup cans and stuff wash them out and repurpose them for other things but uh, let's see if it looks like these would fit just perfect in one of these pockets on the end <clears throat> I've actually got a soup can it's got soup in it that we could put in there uh, let's see if that'll actually fit Got a couple of different size cans that we can add to this. Uh, you know, the cans, you could leave stuff in them if you wanted, but uh, you can wash the cans out and make kind of a, a neat little uh, pack. And actually, a soup can fits <laughs> perfect in the end of one of those. So, actually, a soup can would be great. Uh, just add a regular soup can to it for a container. To boil water to cook in etc that type of stuff you know I've got a smaller soup can it's like a condensed soup and that would fit and still leave you some room on top to add some stuff I'm gonna use my little uh, cup for this and uh, the great thing about that cup is those little cans fit right down in there and I can use this as a container itself to hold some of my supplies so now we're, we're starting adding in, uh, you know, our cordage, <clears throat> kind of a combustion device, container, metal container. And that one will give me plenty of room to add more stuff to the top. Also, uh, got this bottle. I've reviewed this bottle before. It's Sub-Zero. See if it, it'll fit, but it actually kind of fits up. Too bad it doesn't have zippers on both sides. Where you could actually zip that up and then just kind of uh, lock it into the D-ring on the side would probably be fine like that. You could do that for a water bottle or something on the side. And uh, But I think I'm going to go take this actually out and maybe just leave it locked to that D-ring and include this little cup or a soup can or something into that pocket. Now we're starting to get a little bit better of a survival kit going on. Something for 32. 
or a 72 hour kit. Still got our front pocket we can add some stuff to. This will bring our total up. You know, if you're adding one of these little bottles, which is like three bucks, you can get these at Walgreens of all places. And uh, they're actually pretty decent. I've boiled water. You can see this one's been used a lot. And uh, I've actually set this directly in the fire and used it uh, for boiling water. And I actually cooked some soup in it once. Uh, it was just ramen noodles and uh, I had a little pack of dehydrated peas and, and uh, carrots and corn. Just kind of added to it. So let's see what else we could add to this to actually bring this up to a halfway decent kit. All right, uh, you know, I'm gonna add in a little right in the rain notebook. People always say, why would you want a notebook? There's tons of things you can do. I'm always finding you need to write coordinates or write stuff down, uh, leave notes, any of that type of stuff. And these right in the rain work really well. So I'm just gonna put that in this top pouch pocket there and then uh, just gonna add in a carpenter's pencil easy to sharpen especially since we added a cutting tool to our kit I'm just gonna put it in there <clears throat> another thing I want to add is this is just a uh, cell needle three-pointed three-sided cell needle you can see it comes it's got uh, shaped like a triangle here on the end goes through and works really well these are a buck, couple of dollars or something. Uh, you can get them at uh, uh, Pathfinder store, or you can get them at uh, I think Bass Pro has them. This is where this came from, Bass Pro. And uh, probably find a spot for that to go in. Probably just gonna tuck it right here in the corner of this. It's in the pouch, just like so. See it right here, the top of the needle. You know, if you're concerned about this poking through or poking you or anything just take some duct tape wrap around it a couple of times on the end make sure you know that the end has got a couple of strips of duct tape on it uh, you can also put it in the end of a cork or a piece of plastic or something just to cover it up keep you from poking yourself with it so we're going to put that in the end there and it kind of just actually fits really nice right there in the end of that and I think the tightness of the kit's going to hold it in place so now we got those added in. Okay, a couple more things I want to add to this kit. We got just a small Altoids Type 10. That's a fishing kit. Just has some uh, line lures, uh, fish hooks, a uh, little bit of bank line. Probably got 50 feet of bank line rolled up in there, and some braided lines. We're going to add that to our kit. I'm actually going to go in and add another one of these really good space blankets. Uh, this is a little bit. Of higher quality than the one that's in the kit. So it kind of brings that up a little bit. I know it sounds silly, but I want to add a spoon. Spoons, believe it or not, are a little underrated uh, in these kits. Um, you know, not only for eating stuff, but you can actually make some pretty, pretty neat traps with a spoon. You know, um, use this as your toggle and stuff. Plus you got to uh, sharpen that up on the end there you got a pretty good stabbing weapon and I've actually used these before as a tent stake uh, if you got uh, ground you can actually put this at an angle and hold uh, you know, tie your rope to it and pull it back just as a small anchor so I'm going to add that in one thing yeah, I believe I would add to this too a compass some kind of a, a direction you know even if it's a small little button type compass I believe I'd add that to it so now we're taking care of our cutting tool, uh, combustion device. Uh, we do have uh, a cover. Got a canteen, metal metal canteen, boiling water, that type of stuff. Uh, the cover, I'm really not satisfied, you know, with two space blankets. Another thing I would add to is just a cotton, piece of cotton bandana. This is actually a uh, cotton dishcloth flour sack dishcloth 100% cotton that way I can make char cloth with my little kit that I've got there if I need to also works great for cleaning washing uh, washing yourself you know uh, emergencies um, a lot of things you can do with this 
and I think that'll actually stuff in my cup down here because we had some room and it will so now we're actually getting kind of a small little survival kit together the only thing is is uh, you're probably gonna have to add a hundred bucks you know fifty to a hundred dollars to get this kit up to actually being a halfway decent kit um, like I say add a little button compass or a really good compass you know you could add in a really good one this is a Sunto MC2 you could add that to your kit if you wanted to there's a lot of options you could do but you know a little button compass those little uh, you know high grade button compasses not the ones you buy you know for a buck I'm talking the six seven eight buck button compasses survival resources has some really good ones uh, John McCann's site uh, you can go there check those out but <clears throat> would I buy this kit and, and rely on this without modding it no I would not uh, sorry Camelus you got that kind of wrong uh, in my opinion you know you've got to add some things to this kit I guess that's why they gave you the extra pockets because they know that you're going to have to add some stuff especially a cutting tool I mean a knife company should have added uh, you know, some kind of small knife to this kit <clears throat> also some fire starting device even being you know the small uh, match size ferro rods which are really cheap they could have added to this kit um, there's a lot of things that they could have added to this to make this a 10 time better kit even just the addition of that cutting tool and uh, some kind of fire starting device even if they put some emergency matches in there in a little lifeboat pack would have been better than nothing Heck, I'd even take a book of matches, you know, in this, in some kind of little container, even in a Ziploc bag over nothing. Um, you know, the adding a little cordage to this, you got to have some kind of cordage, bank line, paracord, something in this. Um, just even if you need to take that emergency blanket and make a small tarp out of it or something to get under out of the rain, um, you know, that would really come in handy. So, guys, uh, that's my review on this little uh, Camelus kit three days survival kit um, in my opinion you know unless you want the bag you know the bag is, is probably you know a fifteen twenty dollar bag in itself uh, the bag is the coolest thing in, a, in it and the most practical thing in this kit you know add a jar of peanut butter to that uh, you know a 16 ounce bottle of water instead of these little emergency bags uh, you can buy a 16 ounce you know you can get a case of water put a couple of those in there uh, instead of these bags the bags are cool and all you know and they look like they're survival stuff and all that but hey you know a couple of bottles of water in there would be great so uh, is it worth 35 bucks? Not really. Uh, 20, 25 would have knocked it in the head probably. And to actually make this a, a viable kit, you got to add so much to it, you know, to make this kit actually a survivable, usable three-day kit. So guys, this is Darren with Eastwood and Survival, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this little review. Um, I don't know if I would actually spend 35 bucks on this kit or not. Um, like I say, the bag's neat. If you're just needing a really good bag, the bag looks really well made. Um, looks like it's going to be a pretty good piece of gear. Um, the addition of that shoulder strap, which I didn't know it had in there, was kind of neat. You know, uh, to where you could actually carry this. You know, add a bottle, add a few things to this, and you can actually make a pretty decent little survival kit for your car. Uh, put it on your ATV, whatever, you know. But, uh, yeah, I got mixed feelings about it. The bag is the coolest, like I say, the bag, 20 bucks. Probably at a gun show or something. You can probably pick these up. I think they're just like a medic bag is what it looks like that they've converted into a survival kit. And, um, I don't know. It's kind of up to you, I guess, if you want to spend 35 bucks on, you know, a bag basically is what you're getting the rest of it you're going to, have to fill up with good stuff you get what you pay for but in this instance you get a bag for $35 all 
Alright guys, it's Darren with Eastwood and Survival. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this review on Thanksgiving Day. So guys, go enjoy some turkey and uh, happy holidays. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the woods.